It's probably not too far-fetched to say that basketball's Jim Jones is the first superstar athlete from Racine to make it big in professional sports. After two years at Park High School, Jones led the 1969 St. Catharines basketball team to a 26-0 season and a WISAA state championship. As a coach, you look at a kid with that kind of size and you say, hey, this kid has a chance to make it at another level. The 6'11 Jones went from playing for John McGuire at St. Cat's to starring in the front court for three seasons at Marquette for the legendary Al McGuire. In his junior year at Marquette, Jim averaged 20.5 points per game and just under 12 rebounds per game on his way to receiving All-American honors. With the blessing of Coach Al, Jones left the school after his junior year and signed a lucrative five-year contract with the New York Nets of the American Basketball Association. Well, I just thought about it for a while and I looked at our circumstance and situation and, and uh, I ended up saying okay and I signed. When he left school early to pursue a professional career, Jim became the second player in NCAA history to leave school for the pros before his graduating year. Jim spent two seasons in the ABA, playing for New York and Carolina. In 1974, he started his NBA career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, eventually playing there for five seasons. Two-year stop with the Lakers netted Jones an NBA championship when the Lakers took the 1980 NBA crown. Bill Sharman said, we didn't know you were this good. He said, if you win us a championship or help us win a championship, we're going to give you a new contract. And they did. They gave me a new five-year contract without much negotiations, which made me at that time one of the highest paid power forwards in the game. Jim finished his pro career in 1982 as a member of the Washington Bullets. Jones had 9,821 points in his pro career with 6,427 rebounds. He averaged 12 or more points in nine of his 10 pro seasons. In 1991, Jim was chosen by the Cavs fans as the center for the classic Cavs team. Jim was inducted into the Marquette University Hall of Fame in 2004 and the Cleveland Sports Commission Hall of Fame in 2006. Today, Jim resides in Beechwood, Ohio. All five of Jim's children would become Division I college players.